Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Kodi 18 to a USB stick and make it portable. First you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you'll end up on a page that looks like this. Now you need to click on Windows and we need to go across to the development builds. As you can see here, it says Kodi 18. We're going to download the installer 32 bit just in case when you plug the USB stick into a 64 bit machine or a 32 bit machine, Kodi will still work. Obviously, if we installed the 64 bit onto the USB stick, making it portable and try to use it on a 32 bit version of Windows, it would not work. Right, you now need to click on the 32 bit installer. And we're just going to click on this top.exe link here. And we're going to go save file. Right, once that's finished downloading, we now need to run the .exe. And we're just going to go next. I agree. And we want to install the full version of Kodi. And we need to change our destination folder. Now you need to plug in your USB stick. And once you plugged it in, it should pop up. If it didn't pop up, then just navigate, opening up File Explorer, go into this PC, and then go into your USB stick drive. We now need to change our destination folder. If you've got files on your USB stick, that does not matter. It's absolutely fine. Just make sure you have enough space to install Kodi. I need to change my destination. I'm going to remove the program files. Like that. And I'm going to change the drive to G. As you can see here, it says G. And it says G at the top. If I just click on there, as you can see, it's got G there. That's the drive letter for that USB stick. There we go, so it's going to install to my USB stick and Kodi. The space required is 138 meg. As you can see, I've got nothing on the USB stick and I've got free space of two gig, which is absolutely fine. Once you've done that, you can now go next. We don't want to create any shortcuts, so you need to select this checkbox here. As we're not going to be using Kodi on this machine, I'm going to use it on multiple machines. So I don't want a load of shortcuts to Kodi when it's not even installed on my computer. You now need to go install. This can take a little while depending on how fast your USB stick is. I'm just going to speed up the video now. Okay, once that's finished installing, you can now hit finish. Don't hit run. We just want to finish for now. And we now need to go to our USB stick. And you need to open up the Kodi folder. And you need to right click the .exe for Kodi. And we're just going to go copy. We're now going to go back to the main root of our USB stick. And we're going to right click and go paste shortcut. You're now going to hit F2 or right click and go rename. And we're just going to rename this to Portable. Once you've renamed this shortcut, we're going to right click it and go to Properties. And where it says Target, we want to put on the end a space, then hyphen P. This is making it portable. We now need to go Apply and OK. And if I just show you, as an example, if I just open up Kodi, as you can see at the minute, there's like no other portable data folder in there. We got our user data in there, which is absolutely fine. If I now run the portable Kodi, as you can see, Kodi's booted up absolutely fine off our USB stick. There it all is. And if I just go on to the settings, and go to system info. As you can see there, it says Kodi 18, which is awesome. That's worked fantastic. If we just close Kodi down now and open up the other folder, 
and just refresh that for a second. As you can see now, we got our portable data folder, which is where all our add-ons and everything is stored. Basically what that means is if we plug the USB stick into another computer, we're still going to have all our add-ons, which is absolutely fantastic. That means we don't have to keep installing all the add-ons onto Kodi all the time and messing around. It's a massive, you know, saver of time. Right, I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.